Greetings folks. Let's chat about how to set up a Facebook Live video and show both the screen and your camera. Now the default, as many other videos online say, is that you can either start a screen share or your camera, but not simultaneously. And there are other videos online that talk about how to add third-party software and other tools, which I did not want to do. I just want to use my existing tools, and so I'm not going to go there. But I'm going to share my screen. This is the way I'm doing it. I'm going to share my screen. But also, since I have Zoom, I can start a Zoom session. So first, I'm going to test this out and put some tags in here. I'm only going to share it with me for the purposes of this video. But the point is, I can have my Zoom camera and drag it to the screen. And that way, I will show both my camera and the screen. The reason why I want to show screen is that I'm a geographer. So it's all about the mapping and the tools, and it's very visual. And so I want to show my screen. Your application might be equally visual, and you, you want to show the screen as well as your camera. And so this is how to do that. OK, I'm on the web, and I am showing one of my favorite mapping tools, the Wayback Imagery, and showing how to swipe. So I've got that here. Great. But what if I want to show my camera also? I want people to see me instructing. I'm all about education, so I think it's effective to show the narrator oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes. And so I've started a Zoom session and right here, and I'm going to then drag my Zoom camera box or window over to the screen that I'm sharing. Here it is. So here's my screen and I can adjust it. Obviously you would do all this before you started your live session with your audience, but you've got it here. You can size it a bit. That's all there is to it. Another nice thing about this technique is that as you can see here, I can pop up that video of myself anytime I want. So as an instructor, sometimes I like the focus to be purely on the screen. And so I can reduce or lower eyes or minimize my own camera. And I can pop it in here anytime I want. And it'll be at the exact same scale, of course, as the last time I had it raised. But again, you can have your camera and the screen at the same time using Zoom, for example, and Facebook and that will both appear in your Facebook live stream. You can also export this video as I describe in another video on this channel, how to actually export it and move it into, let's say, Vimeo or YouTube. By the way, the camera does not have to be in Zoom. Let's say you've got GoToMeeting or you've just got a camera app. It'll work on anything. So all you have to do is make sure that that's engaged and then drag it into your screen sharing in Facebook. I hope this has been helpful. Get out there and continue to be creative. Thanks.